Legislators on the Michigan House Oversight Committee met on Thursday to discuss ways to improve the state's Freedom of Information Act. Advocates tell me Michigan is known for its lack of transparency. Michigan is known for not having great open government. Um, as you know, our governor and our legislature are not subject to FOIA. The Freedom of Information Act allows the general public access to government records like contracts, financial documents, and data on local schools and even police departments. But it's a particularly important tool for journalists. For journalists, it's because they're the watchdog for all of us as citizens and taxpayers. They keep an eye on what government officials are doing, where your money's being spent. And often the way to find the answers to those questions is through FOIA. McGraw tells me that the COVID-19 pandemic highlighted just how difficult it is to access information through FOIA in Michigan. I'm hearing from reporters delays, costs have been high. Those are two of the biggest ones that I've heard. Stephen Johnson, who is the chair of the House Oversight Committee, tells me he also heard complaints about timeliness and cost. Some people are waiting over a year to get things back from governments, the penalties, uh, the fees it takes to pay for this sometimes are unreasonable. And sometimes it just seems that the people they're talking to in government view this as a burden and not as a public duty. McGraw tells me she would like to see fixes to the FOIA system. I feel like they need to change the word respond to produce. You know, you, you FOIA a particular record, they should produce it within five days or 10 if they get the extension. And then finally, this is something we, it's not a fully formed idea, but We've talked about for years, and that would be the formation of a, some sort of open government commission to be the arbiter of appeals, as opposed to having to go to court to get your costs down. Representative Johnson tells me lawmakers haven't proposed legislation to fix these issues, but says Thursday's hearing is the first step in addressing them. Reporting at the Michigan Capitol, I'm Elle Myers, Fox 47 News.